Hey guys, it's uh, Shane with Custom Fits and Fabrication here in Watkinsville. Uh, one of our newest uh, units that we put out uh, over the last couple of weeks, customers coming to pick it up, and before they did, we wanted to give you all a little uh, brief video of it. So we'll start up here on the front. Uh, we've got a uh, prep table here that also acts as a cover for our 10 inch high BTU propane burner. You've got one on the left and uh, another one right there on the right. Also, we have A storage box in the center which is storage and then it houses all of our 12 volt uh, electrical systems and a trickle charger for the LED lighting that I'll show you uh, in the roof and the awning. So we've got three lights in the awning that are uh, high efficiency LED lights and then pretty much every cooking service on this trailer is lit up with LEDs. There's almost, I think there's 14 lights in this system. All of the electrical has been chased through the piping so you don't see any exposed wires and they're protected uh, by, the, uh, by the weather for being in those tubes. Everything is uh, heat shrunk so you should never have any issues out of your power. This will run, is running 12 volt off the battery right now. If you flip this switch up, plugged it into shore power, just a regular extension cord, it would run all of the lighting plus trickle charge the battery anytime it's plugged up. So that's a pretty good feature and it's weatherproof, sealed, everything's good to go. This is our 500 gallon tank, reverse flow smoker. We added the barn doors to this one. So this is an option you can get on any one of our smokers. Uh, we've got the upgraded stainless steel uh, adjustable temperature gauges that the customer uh, asked for us to put in here. You can actually uh, calibrate those at any time. They're hermetically sealed in stainless steel. Customer asked for uh, the three rack option. So you've got large amounts of cooking space. That's another good deal with the barn door is you get almost four inches more rack space on your top and middle rack because of the depth of the, uh, the barn door. So that's a super nice option. You can cook a ton of stuff on this smoker. Um, and it might be hard to see, but this uh, inside has charcoal baskets and a water pan cut out in the removable reverse flow plate. So this entire unit here could be turned into nothing but a charcoal grill. All of the stacks for the warming box and the smoker are uh, vented out the roof with a positive lock so you know when it's closed, you know when it's open. Both of them are that way. They're flanged with gaskets so they won't leak. Warming box, again three racks, plenty of room for that. Uh, it's got an upgraded restaurant upgraded firebox which the vents are quarter inch, firebox is quarter inch and then we CNC cut a grate on the machine so there's no expanded metal inside uh, the firebox that will last a lifetime. And of course you can see you've got a light over this cooking surface and you've got a light over where that is the charcoal basket that you can fill charcoal for our chicken flipper. So anytime you're cooking you can reload charcoal, easily comes out where you can clean it out after you're done with the cook. And I'm pretty sure people are saying, well, what's a chicken flipper? Well, we've done some videos on chicken flippers before, but it's been a while. So this is 
the chicken flipper. Take that pin out. These racks open up. Put your chicken, steak, hamburgers, pork chops, whatever you want to in here. Close the racks. It smashes down your chicken. Put the pin back in. You've got the coals under it. Once that side cooks, pull back on the rack. Flip it 180 degrees. Lock it in place. So you can flip it as many times as you want. Chicken gets done, pull the pin, open it up, take it out. This is the same setup here. So this is a dual chicken flipper, six feet long, 24 inches deep, and roughly uh, 36 by 36 uh, cooking surface. So it's a pretty cool little option to have. And then of course you see the awnings. The awnings actually have braces that are held in with a pin. So when you actually shut the awning, you can just pull this pin, let that drop down. And one person can easily do this by themselves. It's not a very uh, heavy uh, awning. And then we lock the awning in place with small tabs. So as you're going down the road, you don't have to worry about the awning becoming a sail. And then it holds all that in place. So this right here is built technically on our Mini Beast Foundation, but there is, as you can tell, there's a ton of upgrades. Uh, it's actually got a brake axle, breakaway, all of that good stuff. So if you're interested in something like this or one of our production units, give us a shout at Custom Pits, 706-383-0000, uh, or find us on the web at custompits.com. Appreciate it.